Matewan, West Virginia, a town literally surrounded by flood walls and full of history. You don't have to look far and you'll see signs all over the place which point to this history, but mainly as a draw to the growing ATV tourism industry. Mate Juan is situated on the Tug Fork River in Mingo County, West Virginia. And like so many Appalachian towns, it has been devastated by flooding over the years. Flood walls were their solution. I decided it was time to head out of McDowell County, West Virginia and come see this infamous town for myself. Straight ahead is the old school. I'll take you there in a minute. But before we do that, Let's pull in to the old depot here on the right. Definitely an ATV friendly town. You'll see pubs, restaurants, small businesses and shops, as well as Airbnbs catering to this growing industry. But like so many Appalachian towns, this place has a past. Mingo County was once known as Bloody Mingo, the bloodiest county in the United States, and largely because of the defining events that happened right here in Matewan at the Battle of Matewan, or as it's commonly known, the Matewan Massacre. Bullets are still visible in these walls. Tensions were high between pro-union minor families and the hired guns the coal companies employed from Baldwin Felt's agency to do their dirty business like evicting families caught wanting to unionize. We may never know who fired first on that fateful day, but local law enforcement led by Sid Hatfield had a gunfight with those Baldwin Felt's agents, leaving 10 men dead. Seven Baldwin Felt's agents, the town mayor, and two local miners. Not ironically, one of the largest in membership United Mine Workers of America dens is right here in Matewan. Those are some serious flood walls. While I was in Mate One, I stopped at a local watering hole and got to talk with people there who told me that Mate One, right here at the Tug Fork River, is where the Hatfields and McCoys would cross over from Kentucky into West Virginia. Such fascinating history. Earlier I said I would show you the old school. So let's head out of town for just a couple of minutes, cross the tracks here, and go see it.
Thanks for exploring Mate 1 West Virginia with me today. Just on the other side of that flood wall is Kentucky. So let's head on down the road and continue exploring Appalachia, and we'll see you in the next episode.